Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to yet another video on my YouTube channel, Mr. B Does Electronics. And in this video, we'll be repairing or actually replacing a damaged display on my Galaxy A7 Tab. And this is the replacement display that I got from MaxB.com. So let's get on with it. So this is the Galaxy A7 Tab with its large display, and we'll be using some sort of a debit card or plastic insert, uh, a suction cup spudgers whatever you have at hand so that we can get underneath the display in between the display lcd and the chassis and the best place to do that or attack this is the four corners either of the four corners whatever is easier you just stick on the suction cup pull up and try all the four corners and try to insert just like i did a debit card in between and just for the purpose of this video to make this video short i have already loosened the display and loosened the glue and everything and it was not easy at all i would have to say it took a lot of time lot of patience and you will see later on the flex cable of the display is not too large so not do not pull up the display too much so here i'm trying to show you where the flex cable is as you can see right over here in the left corner is the flex cable for the display and right in the middle i'll show you later on is the battery connector so do not put the spudger or the debit card or the plastic insert too deep you will damage the flex cable and the flex cable is attached to two part that is the motherboard as well as the display controller board just disconnect the motherboard side and here i am using the ph or phillips triple zero screwdriver here is a quick zoom view there are two phillips screws that you have to loosen and there is a metal clamp right over the connector take your time do not hurry at this section otherwise you will run the risk of damaging the flex cable or the connector i use nail over here do not use any metal thing over here to disconnect the pins use plastic insert or your nail and i'm just keeping everything aside and I did not disconnect the battery over here because this battery at present is completely discharged. It's not even charging. So it was safe because it was giving very low voltage. But I would suggest to disconnect the battery first and then disconnect the display. So this is the motherboard inside view and that is the memory card slot. As you can see over here. Now let's go for a quick comparison between the two displays that is the original display that I got over here that I just opened up and the replacement display that I bought from maxp.com and I have to say that I have been buying from that website this is not a promotional video or anything but they do give uh, very reasonable replacement displays if and only if they are LCD and not OLED and as you can see the tab king large sticker is given over here that is i think the brand and there are some graphite tapes that i will be needing to replace but i chose not to and the flex cable is something that you can buy other than buying the display if you can guarantee that your display is working but it is a problem with the flex cable because the flex cable is modular and it costs only 200 rupees on the website you can get much cheaper from i guess from other shops but for me the display was actually having water damage as you can see over here and that was the main problem because at first the touch screen was not working there is a touch pda and after that the lcd display just went kaput so i just took the risk and bought the whole lcd and here you can see i have just peeled off the capton tape from the connector which was supplied from the manufacturer and this was not repaired before and as you can see that is the connector you just pull up and uh, actually the flex cable has a little bit of a glue uh, it holds on to the display so be very careful while pulling up Another quick thing that I just found out while comparing the two displays of the connector that is there is a latch there is a locking pin that you have to press down to lock the flex in and those are on the opposite sides but the same flex will work as I'm showing over here as you can see just line up the white line with the connector slowly so that you do not damage the flex cable and just push the locking pin in. And there you go, there is the complete display with the flex cable. 
and I'll just put the Kapton tape as it was on the new replacement display. Let's peel off the Tab King big sticker. And it is a fair warning, do not leave any kind of protective sticker or anything on the inside or on the back side of the LCD or anywhere. As you can see there are peel off stickers on the bezels also. I thought they were double sided tape but there was none. Nonetheless I have the glue required so I will be peeling off all of the protective stickers. And before gluing everything down, it's highly, highly recommended to test fit everything. See that everything is working as it should be. Only then you should glue it up. I have learned this the hard way. And this is another close up view of how the flex cable and the connection works. As you can see, you cannot pull too much up the display as you will run the risk of tearing the flex cable. And this is the bracket that goes over the connector with the two screws. So now it's time to test the display and I promptly forgot that it was out of charge so let's put it to charge and as you can see the LCD is working and I have to tell that these were the, this was a cheap replacement and it can be seen by the amount of brightness but the touch uh, and the bezels everything is working it's comparable and it was relatively really cheap rather than going the OEM way and this is the T7000 glue that I use in all of my repairs that is sticking everything down it is a kind of foam expanding foam type of material which takes like three to four hours to dry I just keep it overnight and as you can see just small bits a continuous line all around the underside of the bezel and I kept the tab on just so I can see that I do not damage anything further while gluing everything down and be extra extra careful while doing these kind of maneuvers that is the displays floating in one hand you're applying glue you always run the risk of tearing the flex cable or damaging something else and take care to not put the glue over the selfie camera that is right under the bezel on the top center and it is right now stuck on and I am just using the same packaging foam thermocol material that the display shipped in and I'll be placing it under some weight overnight and that's it that's the display changed time for the peel which is extremely satisfactory in my opinion and as you can see the fitment is perfect there is no gaps no bulges no nothing and that's a successful repair so if you like unboxing videos diy videos repair videos any kind of gadget videos consider subscribing like share and comment also we have been steadily growing and I am trying to put out regular videos of various kinds, be it DIY gadgets, repair, unboxing, any kind of electronics related thing. I'll be going back into my DIY roots very soon with uh, another video of Magic Mirror. So catch you guys in the next video. Peace.